All right, so what we're gonna do now is take a look at making classic video game style effects. Uh, one of my favorite games growing up was the game, uh, was Defender, and obviously I'm a child of the 80s, and uh, I used to really love all the sounds that uh, that game Defender made. So uh, what we're gonna do is make a classic kind of style where uh, you, you hear like the Defender ship coming in, and then like the Defender ship you know, blowing, uh, getting blown up and, and going away. So to do this, I'm just gonna use a, um, a, a noise waveform and I'm just gonna modulate the pulse width. So here's the noise. And so I'm gonna mod, and so this is just messing with the pulse width. I'm gonna have the, the ship come together and have the ship go away. So you can add in, uh, you know, some more lo-fi stuff, add in like a kind of a bit crusher. Uh, lo-fi here. And we'll add and make it just even a little bit more grungy. And then. All right, so that's how you can make uh, just a ship blowing away and a ship coming in style effect. So now we take a look at making uh, other kind of classic video game effects, you know, things like, you know, kind of Pac-Man or, or Tempest or anything, you know, uh, Battle Tank, any of these kind of stuff where sounds are just kind of, you know, coming after you. Uh, so this is just a sine wave, and a lot of this stuff is just really, it, it's real simple, and it's just real simple modulation kind of things. So take the sine wave and then uh, apply an LFO to the pitch. So what we'll do is come up here and increase the LFO amount. I'm going to increase it all the way. And then come down to the LFO, and right now it's just on a triangle wave, but we can modulate how fast it's going. Now, one of the cool things about it was what kind of style of LFO you're using. Uh, the shape of the LFO, uh, the shape of the waveform of the LFO really depends on the kind of uh, actions that's going on. So a sawtooth wave is a great kind of uh, chase kind of sound or a targeting kind of sound. So uh, changing the speed of the LFO on this. Real simple kind of stuff. Now, another kind of fun thing that you can do with these simple waveforms is make, you know, classic um, computer thinking sounds. You know, if you've ever seen a, a really old computer, or really old movies where the computers are, you know, computing and thinking, uh, a sample and hold waveform on the LFO is a great way to get that kind of random kind of compu uh, uh, computer thinking sound. And you can speed that up too. As uh, you know, classic analog, as classic analog computers thinking there. So there's a couple of easy ways to make classic video game style effects.